Welcome to another episode of Real Life Fisherman. We're doing a how-to video again today. We're gonna put a washdown pump in uh, my buddy Jay's boat. It's real familiar to the channel. I've been doing a lot of work on his boat, tricking it out, and he's decided he wants a uh, washdown pump on there. So I had him order this uh, Japsco washdown pump kit on Amazon. Uh, so it's a it's a nice kit. It's got almost everything you need. Uh, it's got the hose, the screen, and, and uh, the uh, nozzle and everything. It's a really great kit. Uh, but you are gonna wanna pick up a few other things. Um, if you wanna mount it with your hose, this is a, uh, a hose little wash down fitting kit. Um, allows you to through hole it or mount it flush to a, a side or something like that. Good idea to pick up one of these. Most of the time you're gonna want something like that. It also has a uh, shutoff valve on it there as well. You're gonna need uh, four hose clamps. You're gonna need a uh, through hole fitting. So we're gonna put this below the water line and uh, mount that and plumb that to the pump. So you're gonna need that. Uh, you're gonna need a fuse holder, a fuse holder here and a 20 amp fuse. You're gonna need some sort of on off switch, either a rocker type or a toggle type, whatever, it's up to you. Switch, uh, you're gonna need, uh, well, for my through hole fittings and stuff, I need a inch and an eighth uh, hole saw. You're gonna need a bilge tubing, three quarter bilge tubing hose, however long you think you're gonna need. I got about nine or 10 feet. Cutter for your hose. Uh, you're gonna need drill, obviously, and uh, some sort of marine sealant, 5200, 3M, 5200 is what I recommend for doing any kind of uh, through hole fitting on your boat below the water line. This stuff will not leak and it sets up quick and uh, strong. It's a permanent thing. If you're putting something on your boat that you don't ever want to leak or you don't ever want it to come off, 5200 is what you're looking for. If you're putting on a transducer or something that you're probably going to remove in five, six years, marine grade silicone is fine. But if you're putting on a fitting through your boat that you do not ever want to change, 5200 is what you want. And a caulking gun. So uh, that's the stuff you need to get started. And, uh, you know, check it out. See how it's done. So you're gonna to wanna to look on the back of your boat on your transom and figure out where you think is gonna be a good place to mount it. Uh, you know, you got an intake, uh, your, your overflow for your live well here, you got your drain. And kind of also think about what those look like in there and where you're gonna mount it. I mean, we're looking maybe mounting it somewhere in here most likely. And then we're gonna go inside and actually look in the bilge area and see if that's clear. You wanna make sure you're not gonna drill into any brace or uh, anything's obstructing in your way before you just go and plunge a hole in your boat. You really wanna make sure that it's uh, the right place to do it. You only get one shot at it. So uh, do a whole bunch of checking and before you go drilling. So we're thinking somewhere in this area is gonna be a, a good spot for this. It, you definitely want it to be below the water line at all times. So uh, we're going to go inside and look and check it out and see if that's going to be a good spot to put it or not. So if you have access to uh, drill, to get your drill in there and drill out first, it's always easier to do that take a smaller drill bit drill out first and then come in from the outside with your hole saw that way you know for a hundred percent you're in the clear where you're drilling and you're right where you want to be makes a mess but you want to use some uh, brake cleaner or throttle body cleaner or something to uh, clean it up once we're done here but you want to wipe a nice bead around it 
And this stuff is not a joke. If it gets on you, it's going to spread. So it's kind of like the only thing worse than this is probably roofing tar. But it works really good. Just spray some uh, carb cleaner or brake cleaner on a rag or towel. And kind of just wipe it, wipe it clean. Leave a bead, but kind of just wipe it clean, clean it up. All right, so now we got to figure out how we're going to mount it in here, or where we're going to mount it, rather, and plumb it all up. So to mask some of his other diamond plate trim we did recently, I'm going to try to make him a, uh, a switch plate uh, for a rocker switch um, out of his diamond plate so it'll kind of look cool. Luckily I have a plastic one to use as a template, otherwise you just cut it out kind of not it. Oh, that's gonna be the ticket right there. Ooh. Bam. On the diamond plate to switch the fan on. Wrap that there, that's gonna come to there, and then connect the other side to the intake. So I do the through hole first, and then start doing everything else, and then make that connection there on the through hole the last thing. Give that 5200 as much time to set up as possible. It sets up pretty quick. But uh, it's a full cure in 24 to 48 hours. I always say go 48 just in case. Unless it's colder out, then go longer, of course. You know what I'm talking about? That stuff spreads bad. Get, it's in the boat now, so it's not on the boat yet. But I gotta get this off of here. So let me get a rag.
never wired up 12 volt you know switches and stuff before so basically what you're gonna have to do is run there's a ground coming off of the pump you want to run that directly to your battery or your ground bus bar and then you're going to your battery ground obviously and then your uh there's a, a power coming off of the pump so you're going to run a lead to the switch for your power and then you're going to run a power directly from constant power whether it be a fuse panel your dash power switch whatever and then uh run that to the switch so basically you're connecting constant power from the battery or your power distribution block to the switch and then that connects when you flip the switch that connects it to the pump so that's what you're doing you're just make completing a circle with the switch in the middle it's just an on off switch so it doesn't really tell you which way is um, up or down but all you have to do if one is uh, it just flip the switch around the wiring on the round on the back so if you want the, the on to be in the up position um, and it's not all you gotta do is flip the, the terminals around and it will be to the ground you never ever ever ground anything to the body of your boat always run it back to the ground on the battery or the ground on the uh, main ground bus bar don't ground anything to your boat it causes all kinds of electrical issues causes electrolysis on the hull just run everything back to your battery or your main battery ground bus bar you don't want to ground anything to the boat itself Well, that's uh, pretty much wraps it up there for the wash down install. Uh, that's, uh, that's how I would do it. They're really nice to have. I have one on my boat. It's really nice for washing your hands off of bait, washing your bait board off, any blood that gets on the deck, uh, stuff like that. Especially now that he's all vinyl in here, you know, it's real easy to clean up. They're, they're a nice uh, upgrade to do to your boat. So like I said, if this uh, helped you out, Please give the video a like. If you have any questions, you can always uh, 
you know shoot me a question in the comments and uh, if you're not subscribing already please go ahead and subscribe all right thanks for watching